When most people hear the word wireless, they might think of microphones or headphones. But what about wireless lighting? The Shave DJ DeFi XLR pack makes it easy for you to run your favorite lighting fixtures cable free. Hey guys, Matt here from iDJ Now. I'm here with Kev, and today we are taking a look at the Shave DJ DeFi XLR pack. Now, this product is able to take any DMX compatible fixture and make it wireless. So, Kev, thank you for hanging out with us today. Matt, thanks for having me on today. Guys, great to see you. Hopefully, great for you to see me. It's been a while. And we're here to talk about DFI XLR pack. Yes. I know you had a couple of basic questions. Yes. And I think the first question you asked me off camera was, <laughs> what light can I use this with? Exactly, well I can use this with. The simple answer is any light with a DMX input. Any light? Any light with a DMX input, any fog machine, Ooh. any bubble machine, any snow machine, anything with a DMX input or output. Okay, all right, all right. Um, now, what kind of like situations would you use this wireless unit um, as far as like events and stuff? Really any event that requires uh, entertainment lighting and okay. anything. So if you have a backyard party, if you're doing a house of worship, you're having like a pop-up ceremony somewhere, a pop-up service, uh, backyard party, mobile event, anything, any place, any time. It's so easy to set up and so simple to use with virtually any DMX compatible. Okay, so indoor or outdoor events this would be Indoor or outdoor. You got a 165 foot range line of sight on these things. So for indoor or outdoor, if you're even doing indoor and outdoor, mm -hmm. you can make it work. Okay, and as far as controlling it, um, I believe you can use hardware and software controllers, is that correct? Yeah, so right here I have a basic conventional DMX controller. This is a, an Obey 10 from Chauvet. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, I have these on a basic four channel mode. So, base, so all I'm gonna get is my red, green, blue, and amber on these particular fixtures, right? Yep. And all I'm doing is running the DeFi XLR transmitter straight out of the DMX input. If you have a software box, you can plug right into the software box. If you have five pin DMX, either input or output, get yourself an adapter, and then you can plug your transmitter or receiver right into that adapter. So again, Conventional uh, DMX controller, software-based controller, you pretty much anything that's DMX will work with this. All right, um, sounds pretty simple. Now the the DeFi wireless system uh, has 16 channels of DMX. Right? That's right. Very very simple to operate. And if you're familiar with the Freedom Par, which I happen to have one right here, if you know anything about these, they have 16 channels of DFI built in, which means it's compatible with this right out of the box. Oh, awesome. A little different to set this. On that, there's a digital display. On this, you're gonna power the unit on, and you can see there's green light that says power. This is rechargeable, by the way, which we'll get into. And then I'll just quickly select my channel. Now, the manual says with these amber lights indicate what channel. I don't remember that off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't think anyone is gonna remember that off the top of their head. If you do, call me. <laughs> So I have these set, and this is actually DMX channel two. So again, it's as simple as taking it, plugging it right into the light. Go, set your DMX channel. I have these all set to one channel, so they all respond themselves. If I wanted to program them as multiple fixtures, I could channel one, channel 17 on this controller and separate it. All right. Yeah, I believe um, like matching, it's just as simple as visually making sure the lights are in the same position. Correct, <laughs> correct. Correct. And again, you can see with the Freedom Par, this doesn't require that because it's built in. So even if you have the Freedom Stick Pack or any Freedom fixture, it's on the same 16 channels. All right. And the, the pack, um, I believe right out the box, comes with one transmitter and three receivers? That's right. So when you buy the pack, you get the charging station. And the charging station allows you to charge up to eight devices, which is typically going to be one transmitter. It comes with the three receivers, and then you could buy additional if you need them. That's where those are over there. The Correct. Individuals. Very conveniently packed. Awesome. Now, if you don't buy the whole pack, let's just say you just want to get into wireless, you want to be able to run your controller to one light wireless, you buy one transmitter, you buy one receiver or two receivers, and then you can just charge it in the micro USB. But I have to say, having this dock, it is convenient. You do have two USB ports on the side, so if you have uh, like a wireless microphone that uses rechargeable batteries, they're out there. Or if you want to charge your phone up, plug this in, charge your whole system. That's very convenient. It sure is. All right, awesome. Um, anything else that we didn't cover? Uh, setups. You know. Setups. Yes. Who uses this? Why would I use it? What what configuration? So one of the questions that we got when this first came out is, you know, how do I use it? 
if let's say I'm, I want to run my moving head on top of my totem or if I have a really big room and there's a doorway over there and I don't want to run a cable, it's very simple. You do not need to have a wireless receiver at every single light. So it's, that's one of the things that intimidates people. They, they think that, all right, I'm buying the transmitter, I need to buy a receiver. I have 15 lights on this wall, 15 on that wall, that's 30 receivers. Wow. Do the math, yeah. it gets expensive. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it that way. So what you could do is you could run, and I don't know if you can see this clearly, I have a totem here on the bottom, I have my wireless uplight. I ran that wireless, and then I'm just gonna hardwire DMX and power to my mover or whatever I have on top of the totem. So now it's only one receiver, okay? So one transmitter, one receiver, fine. Same concept if you're doing a big room. If I have 15 up lights on this wall, 15 on that wall, I can just want, run, <laughs> words, <laughs> a receiver at the first fixture and then run DMX and power down the chain. And if there's like a big gaping door, let's say that's where the bridal party does their entrance, I don't want to trip them. I don't want to run tape to, to shows up in video. I'll just send another receiver there and then run the next wall. Perfect. So really this is just kind of a direct replacement for the cable. There's no real it, operational difference. Exactly, exactly. And, and the fact that it's rechargeable, the fact that you, know, you get 11 hours of runtime out of them, you probably could get longer, but they always kind of underspec it. And charge time on these, I think it's four hours on the transmitter, two and a half hours to fully charge the receiver. So if you're always on the go, if you're doing multiple parties, just get these things plugged in while you're setting up for your event. Yeah. And if you forget to charge them, as he said before, there is a micro yep. USB on each individual transmitter and receiver, so you yeah. can actually charge it on the go. Yeah, and because a lot of the Chauvet DJ fixtures have power in and out, you can then just really plug, if you have a, the plug, just plug it right into the back of the light. So you're really never yeah. gonna lose your, your power there. Doesn't look great, but hey, it works. That's awesome, all right. So a couple other things. I know you were about to say something, but whatever, cut you off. <laughs> so if you're using these indoors and outdoors, it's the same, same concept, because mm -hmm. you have 165 foot range. You could also then, later on, if you have to go further, add a transmitter into one of the lights and just piggyback the signal. Nice. So continue running. So as far as I know, We've done, we've done a significant number of these. I think the most we ever ran was 30 of them wow. with no issues. All right. Why did we do it? Because we can. <laughs> <laughs> because you can. And uh, yeah, you can find these at either of our showroom locations and at idjnow.com. Isn't that right, Kevin? That's right. That's right. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with us today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And um, we'll see you guys next time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow IDJ Now on our other social media channels for even more content.